Hello and welcome to Real Juicy News. Here's hope for national diabetics, people who suffer from type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes. Uh, not just nationally but also for the rest of the world that suffer from this uh, affliction as the Otago University in New Zealand are harnessing the power of dahlia plants to help prevent diabetes. The University of Otago, New Zealand is getting closer to forming a life-changing natural product that is hope, hoped will help millions living with type 2 diabetes globally. Okay, we're not going to read the article first. We're going to listen to the news report because most of the information in the article is actually in the video so it's like I'm reading and repeating it okay so I'll have a look at this news report a flower has been hiding a secret that could help millions of people living with diabetes around the world Otago University has discovered extracts from the dahlia plant has unusually strong anti-diabetic properties and as Maddie Lloyd explains, they now need our help to test their new product. They're enough to brighten anyone's day, but these dahlias could soon be changing lives. Who would have known that this flower has that secret in it? <laughs> the University of Otago has found several highly potent chemicals in these plants and is now making them into a natural product to tackle one of our biggest health issues. Nearly 450 million people in the world have diabetes. And this is actually maybe one of the first treatments in the world that treats the root cause of the disease, which is brain inflammation. One million Kiwis have pre-diabetes, some without even knowing it. 70% of them will go on to develop diabetes if untreated. It's hoped the extract from the dahlia plant will prevent this progression and limit long-term effects for those who already have it. You would reduce your glucose levels in your blood and thereby you would avoid all long-term complications, blindness, amputations and heart disease. The university is working with Aroma New Zealand to bring the product to market. We've got the opportunity to help thousands and millions of people globally, so it is very exciting to be able to be part of that process. More than 300,000 dahlia blooms will be processed this season. This field contains about 15,000 dahlia plants. Each flower is individually hand-picked before going into processing where these will be developed into capsules ready to be consumed. There's already been one successful clinical trial to test the capsule's safety. Now there's a second to determine the dose and participants are desperately needed. If you want to be part of this amazing story, it would be nice to sign up to help harness the power of this flower and warding off a chronic disease. Mitty Lloyd, One News. That was very interesting. There's hope coming from the Dahlia plant for uh, people who suffer from type 2 diabetes, diabetes or pre-diabetes. Okay, the guy was saying um, the root cause of it is brain inflammation. Uh, would they go deeper and find out the, the cause of diabetes? Is it like too much uh, sugar in your diet, you know, uh, white refined sugar, or too much um, junk food that contains a lot of sugar? Um, I'm actually looking at was actually looking at a uh, documentary on one two three movies about fat. It's uh, the documentary Fat Two. Uh, another one uh, about your diet, losing weight, how to lose weight, lose fat, and keep it off um, effectively. You know. Uh, by sustaining a method that would do so. So I'll put those at the bottom of this video if you find that um, might be uh, interesting. So if you like this small uh, 
this short video about a possible cure for pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, diabetes for not only New Zealanders but around the world be tested in New Zealand and then um, subscribe to our channel give us a like add your comments but don't forget to um, set that bell, ring that bell so you'll be notified of any of our upcoming videos and then um, go out there and tell all your friends that may be suffering from pre-diabetes or diabetes or type 2 diabetes that their country New Zealand is, um, has come up with a possible cure so there's hope you know? there's hope for them Okay, you can come and read the article. Uh, it's not really a lot of information. It's basically what was in the video. Okay. Um, as he said, Alex Tupp said in the uh, news report, if you want to be part of this amazing story, it would be nice to sign up. Tupp says, the researchers are looking for males over 18 years of age with pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes in the wider Wellington area. Men keen to take part should contact the research centre. Email diabetes research at ccdhb.org.nz You can telephone them if you're in New Zealand. It's, uh, I guess it's 04806-2458. Participants will receive a small payment in recognition of their time. Yeah, because it's some sort of uh, test, right, to help them in their research. <clears throat> okay, it says here, more than 300,000 dahlia blooms will be processed this season, which will be developed into capsules ready to be consumed. There has already been one successful clinical trial to test the capsule safety. Now there's a second to determine the dose of participants who must be Wellington, Wellington based, Wellington and New Zealand, and they're desperately needed. Okay, the university, Otago University, is working with Aroma New Zealand to bring the product to market. We've got the opportunity to help thousands and millions of people globally, so it is very exciting to be a part of that process, says the director of Aroma New Zealand, Ben Winters. Uh, what did it say here? About 1 million Kiwis have pre diabetes, some without even knowing it, as mentioned in the news report. 70% uh, of them will go on to develop diabetes if untreated. Type 2 diabetes can usually be controlled by lifestyle factors. Sufferers are not insulin dependent. It's hoped the extract from the dahlia plant will prevent this progression and limit long term effects for those who already have it. You would reduce your glucose levels in your blood and thereby you would avoid all long term complications, blindness, amputations, unfortunately, and heart disease. Tub says. You would reduce your glucose levels in your blood and thereby you would avoid all long term complications, blindness, amputations, unfortunately, and heart disease. Tub says. The university is working with Aroma in New Zealand to bring product to market. Okay, so yeah, that's that's great. Yes, yeah, sign up if you want to go through the clinical trials. Um, it might be a good thing if there potential a uh, potential growth, right? To um, invest some shares in them. It's just an idea I had. I have no clue about shares. I receive shares, but but that's a uh, in their past um, yeah it might be a good opportunity as well okay so yeah don't forget to subscribe give us a like and then go to all people you know that may have diabetes that there's a just hope for them is a possible cure coming uh, through dahlias the plant dahlia 